G. So let us take the coordinates of point G be X, Y, and Z. Let the coordinates of point G are X, Y, and Z. As we know that G divides AD in the ratio 2 is to 1. See, centroid always divides a median in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, therefore, AG is to GD equals to 2 is to 1. Now, D is the midpoint of BC as AD is a median. So, we can find the coordinates of point D. We write, since AD is a median, therefore, D will be the midpoint. So, coordinates of point D are coordinates of point D are x2 plus x3 upon 2, y2 plus y3 upon 2, z2 plus z3 upon 2 using midpoint form. Using midpoint formula, we find the coordinates of point D. It is this. Now, using section formula, we can find the coordinates of point G. So we write, therefore, using section formula, x equals to x equals to m1 m1 means 2 x2 x2 means x2 plus x3 upon 2 plus m1 m1 x2 m2 x1 m2 x1 upon m1 plus m2 as the ratio is 2 is to 1 Similarly, y equals twice of y2 plus y3 upon 2 plus 1 into y1 upon 2 plus 1. And last, z equals 2 into z2 plus z1 upon 2 plus 1 into z1 z2 plus z3 and this is z1 upon 2 plus 1. So we get 2 to cancel. So we get x equals to x1 plus x2 plus x3, x1, x2, x3 upon 3, y equals to y1, y2, y3 upon 3 and z equals z1, z2, z3 upon 3. So these are the coordinates of the centroid. We can use it as a formula for centroid. So this is the proof part of this. So this is all about the chapter 3D.